Hello you guys, welcome back. Today we are doing kind of a part two of our prison lingo video. Adam took me on a tour. Took you for a trip all the way around the facility. Kind of, kind of took a walk, yep. Took a walk, I aced the test. She did, she killed it. And now we are doing people. People, prison lingo surrounding people. I think I'm gonna do well on this one I was too. Gonna say, I'm giving you, giving you a hint here. You know, by telling you that places that we were going to go kind of gave you an idea that we were taking a tour. Now it's about people. So if you're interested in seeing how well I do, <laughs> I'm going to kill it, on Prison Lingo, then keep watching. All right, so we're going to start things out and we're going to keep it simple. When somebody says they're Sally. Oh, it's their roommate. The roommate. That's a simple one, right? I always hated the word Sally. I would never say Sally in the beginning. I would always say your roommate. Why is that? I don't know. It's just one of those roommate. words, like a prison-y word that irked me. It's definitely a prison word. Yeah. Sally. Yeah. Which is weird because a lot of people on the outside don't like the word inmate. Or if you say my inmate, they get really upset. Like he's more than just an inmate where that never bothered me whatsoever. But Sally, Sally for some did. reason, it made me think of you in like in a little hole. Ooh, it was okay. just awful. Like I just hated the word cell and celly for a really long time. What about bunky? I don't mind bunky. It's my bunky. But it, I think it goes back to it being a cell in this tiny little confined space and that just sure. always broke my heart. Sure. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I get it now. We've talked about this as far as putting terms or labels. None of that has ever bothered me. Yeah. Inmate, convict, you know. And oh, convict is kind of harsh. What if I called you an ex-con? That wouldn't bother you? Ex-con. Yeah. I called Poochie an ex-con one time and he was like, ah! Really? Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. None of those terms have, have ever really bothered me. I don't know. I just never subscribed to it. It's not attached to any feeling for me. That's all. All right. We started out easy. My celly, my bunky. Could be my road dog. Road dog? Is that your like best friend in there? Like your ride or die? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, am I your road dog? My bro oh, you're so much bro. more than my road dog. <laughs> yeah, your, your road dog. That's yeah. like... That is like your number one fan. Dow. There you go. If people saw one, they'd be like, man, where's your road dog at? They're automatically going to pair the two. They can't buddy. say partner in crime, I'm assuming. I'm kidding. Yeah, no, we wouldn't Bad joke. That. Next one would be, well, that's my homie. Oh, that's somebody from the same city you're from, or the same region you're from. Or somebody on YouTube said something about being from Jersey, and I was joking. I was like, hey, homie. There you go. You're getting down with the prison slang. Oh, How'd she respond? Okay. I don't know. I don't think she did. What about the big homie? The big homie? The big homie. Is that like the shot caller of that group of homies? Uh, yeah, generally. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. There you go. You're good at this game. I know. You trained me well. The big homie. The big homie. That's generally like the shot caller, but it could also be... Like an old head? What do you mean like an old head? He's like the elder. He's been around for a while. You were an old head when you got out. I know, Ooh, I know, I know. I'm the God old head hurt. prison wife. I know. The first time someone called me old head, like... Like who you... What? No. Um, no. There's no old head. What Here's me. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, what's up, old head? My dad always says that. What? He's like, I don't understand why everybody else gets so older. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the big homie, sometimes it's just a term of endearment for an old head. Somebody that's from your area, like, yeah, let's go see the big homie. Meaning he's like a like an elder. An elder, a like, mentor. Why? Like it's somebody, yeah. it's somebody that you look up to. Yeah. It's a term of endearment yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Once you get past the fact that you're old. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Big homie doesn't necessarily have to be older. I've seen guys yeah, like a shot caller. that are younger, yeah. Yeah, referred but, to as the big homie, which just because they have that level of respect. But he's not an old head. He's Correct. just a big homie, homie, which I can't exclude that one. I've never heard it before. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Next. All right. Winner. What about he's just, that's my man right there. That's your boy. It's just a more respectful way of saying that's my boy. If I'm gonna tell someone else like, that's my man, I'm saying something. You're vouching for him. Yeah. But your man isn't necessarily your road dog because your road dog is closer to you than just, that's my man. Like I, I, I'm vouching for him. If I call somebody my man, I, I don't necessarily even have to be talking about someone in prison. I get it. When I say, that's my man, I'm generally saying I have a relationship sure. that extends beyond this. I knew him before prison. Oh, that's my man. Like, we go back. 
I've known him since we were yay big. What's the difference if a woman says that's my man? <laughs> yeah, I hands off. Yeah, that's a whole different. Yeah, that's my man. Yeah. You're like, Whoop. all right, I get it. Yeah, he's tipped up. Tipped up. No. Is he hot? No. No. Hot um, meaning what? You can't just throw words like that. Hot meaning they're on to him. He's doing something, um, and the cops are on to him, and you got to stay away from him. He's about to get busted. That could be hot. There's, there's more. Oh, hot could be dirty too. Oh. Dirty meaning he's gonna test positive on a urinalysis. Okay, and there's one more. There's another hot. Yeah. He's gorgeous. Ooh, no, that's. That's not, not how they use it in prison. Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. Okay, wait. N not angry. Like heated. He's hot. Ooh, there you go. He's hot. That's another one. Okay, hot meaning he's about to get busted. Hot meaning he's dirty. Yep. Hot meaning another thing. You angry. Angry. And hot mean. He's got stuff to. Ooh, he's hot, man. You better stay away from him. Yeah, isn't that the same thing? Not just dirty. Yeah, the cops are on to him. They're gonna bust more him for than, something. More than that. He's hot. He's a rat. Yeah. Ah. It's one of those words, man. You better know what you're saying. What's the original word we started with? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back to tipped up. Tipped up. He's drunk? No. Tipped up. Like somebody tipped him off. Mm, no. No? Can I have a clue? Yeah, I was gonna say, you're just going on context. Yeah, have a clue? He's with them. He's in the game. Yeah? yeah. Wow, I never would have pieced that together. Yep, tipped up. Okay. Just means part it's of the Clicked group. up. Clicked up, yeah. Got it. The plug. The plug sounds so dirty, is it? What I'm thinking? <laughs> no. Remember, this is a person. <laughs> <laughs> the plug is the person that looks out if like somebody's tattooing, they're the lookout? No, that's the lookout. That's the lookout. That's not the plug. The plug, so you're plugging something. The plug, the plug, the plug. Oh, the plug, I know. I know. Like, I know. you got the plug, like you're gonna hook me up. The plug is the guy with like the mm, yeah. That like, could be who's your plug? Hook like, me up. A guy could be the plug, or looking for the plug. I feel like that's prison lingo that drips to the outside because I've heard that before. When people are looking for stuff, they a lot of guys go to prison looking to get a plug. Oh hell no! You get yourself arrested on purpose so you meet somebody in there. No, to be not necessarily not to I don't on purpose, but they're like, well, I'm gonna be in the feds. I better I'm find get it. a plug while I'm there. Got it. Okay. Meeting the person who's going to do dirt with you. Yeah. Well, okay. gen it's generally. Related. Okay. If you say the plug, I'm, I'm going to prison looking for a plug. Yeah. That means somebody that can supply you, say, with weight, be your new connect. Weight? Drugs. Okay. We're talking drugs right now. Okay. That's going to be your connect. Like, okay. man, I got the plug. I got it. Like the hookup. The hookup. What about a gump? A gump? A gump. I feel like that's somebody that is handicapped. And they limp and they you have to help them around the yard? That's a gimp. A gimp. Was close. It's a gimp, a not gump. quite a gump. a gump. A gump, that's a negative connotation? Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna take it positive. Mm. Were you a gump? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Is it have something to do with sexuality? Yes. Okay, so that's a homosexual male? Yes. Okay. There you go. Hey, it took a minute, but you got that I one. I can tell by your reaction. There's a difference between a gimp and a gump. A gimp is somebody who limps? A gimp is somebody that's, yeah, that's... Needs help. Crippled, help, yeah, like... Yeah, got it. Okay. Busted up. Yeah. Yeah, a gump is someone who is openly homosexual. Okay. So, check-in. Check-in means when you put yourself in the hole for usually protective custody or the inmates are like, you gotta go. Up top. Ah, there you go. See, so you're putting it all together. Yes. Yeah, check-in. Now, a check-in can be for various things. Mm -hmm. Check-in doesn't necessarily have to be a Vic. A Vic? Visit with your cousin? Ah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Vic. Vic. Check-in doesn't necessarily have to be a Vic, which is them driving you off the yard? Kind of. Vic would be short for... Vic would be short for... See somebody... That just looks way too young and too green. You're like, oh man. He's, oh, for his protection. He so a, they don't. He's gonna be a vic. Mm, a victim. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Now, some check-ins are could be a vic. Others aren't. 
question. Yes. If it's a young kid that's a Vic, who's going to check him in? Like you as a nice guy go to the cop and like, he's got to go or? No. They no. tell him you got to go? No. No. How does this work? No, the cops guys are, are like. Guys are looking to take advantage of yeah. him. Yeah. If they put somebody like that out on the yard, no, nah, he's just like, if he ends up checking in, it's because he got scared and ran. I see. Okay. That's the only way he's going okay. because the people who are trying to get their hands on him aren't going to. I don't like I mean? that stuff. Like, yeah, they're not going to get rid of him. Like, That's the scary stuff about prison. I don't like Well, fortunately, it doesn't happen too often. A lot of times there are people that will intervene, like you know the one story in particular. That I told. Where you see an individual and there are guys sometimes, and it's universal. Yeah. With that individual, there was a concerted effort where <laughs> there was an understanding. This kid is literally a kid. He is completely off limits. I mean, he looked like he was 15 years old. He wasn't far from 15 years he old. He wasn't. He was, he was a kid. He should not have been there. Some judge wanted to, to make a, uh, just make a lesson with, with him. And it was a personal stupid vendetta. I made a whole video about it. I'll post it up there because now we're being a little evasive. And yeah, that was terrible. Just a bad, bad situation. And it so, ended terribly, tragically. It Go ahead. did. It did. So, I'm talking about a Vic, a check-in, or NG. See, this is the other sort of check-in. NG. Oh, man. He, Not good. Yeah. That's real? Yeah, he's no good. Oh, he's no good. He's Got no it. good. Got it. But what does that mean? NG could be no good. Paperwork maybe is not good. Doesn't Something doesn't check out. But it could also be, man, he's no good. That dude, this is why other people he's check in. Working with the cops. Well, man, he owes money. Somebody uh, went out, ran up a bunch of bills. Yeah. And all of a sudden, boop, Got disappears. It. Got it. He disappears, and it's like, yo, what happened with so-and-so? Like, did he catch a shot? Or did he just check in? Seems kind of strange he owed all these bills, so, man, that dude's a check-in. He wound up in the hole with no paperwork on no shot, owed all this money, gets transferred to another spot. That dude's a check-in. Got it. Okay, so along with that, somebody being no good, if somebody's no good, what's the opposite of that? Well, I say, man, that's a good guy right there. You? They have integrity, they... No. No? That's a good guy? No. That's not a good thing? Being a good guy is not a good thing? Mm, it is, but that's generally not how that's used. You I... weren't considered a good guy? Yes. But you weren't called a good guy? No, I was. There's another good guy. The problem is the term is used so loosely. Loosely. Man, that's a good guy right there. And I'd be like, really? You think so? You think that's a good dude? Like, you're telling me he's a good guy, why? Because you, what, you think because of his case? Because of something? It's not qualified. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't mean a person of integrity. It just means, oh, that guy's a good guy. He's he not a bad guy. He didn't tell on anybody. Ah. Uh... He, he's not a rat. He's not a check-in. According to prison politics, he's a good guy. So he's just a good guy. Yeah. And he's I not a bad guy. So I used to take offense to that. I'd be like... Because you're a really good guy. I'm like, that's... Yeah, like, how are you going to call that guy a good guy and put... Bam, put that stamp on him when you know, like, he's genuinely not. Like, that dude's going to stab... Not literally, figuratively. Stab that dude in the back, first chance he gets, he's talking smack about this guy and... But some guys would think a good guy would be a guy who would literally stab a guy in the back. True. True. Say good guy ten times, yes. Good guy. Yeah. You're my good guy. Oh. I'll be a good guy any day. Mm. How about this one? Serious dude. That's a serious dude right there. Oh, I just learned that one the other day. Really? About the guys on the prison yet yeah, record. Okay. Like, he's violent. Stay away. Give him space. He's a serious dude. He has serious mm -hmm. problems. So where'd you learn this one? You taught me in the prison yard video. Did I? You said that guy was a serious guy. And I was like, what does that mean? Oh, that's a serious dude right there. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. That's generally... He thinks I don't listen to him. <laughs> it's selective. <laughs> that's generally what that means. It's somebody you want to give a little bit of space to. Were you a serious guy? I think most people thought I was. There were certain things that people attributed to me simply because of the time that I had. They'd be like, man, that's a serious dude like, right there. Not 
saying you are, they thought you were. Remember the time the cop said anybody with over 10 years has lost their mind who's like your 15th year? Or 18th? Yeah. Yeah, he was a, a rookie. So rookie. <laughs> Talking about, yeah, these guys around here that... Man, After 10. They got more than 10 years in. And I'm like, I guess he doesn't know my situation yet. Wait till he goes out there and looks on the computer and goes, what? I said that to him? It's so not funny. It's terrible. Uh, okay. But that's good. I mean, it just speaks to, you know, my okay. ability to break those stereotypes. And it just shows how officers are quick to stereotype as well. He made an assumption when he looked at me that I wasn't a lifer. Which most people, when we go to meetings out here, they think he's a funder. Nobody knows that you're, I don't know if you want me to say that or not, I can take it out, but nobody knows that he was out of prison for like less than two months. Love that. That's my favorite part. My favorite part is when you break the news to them and they're like, <gasps> but it's what? always a positive, always what? a positive response. 213. I learned many, many years ago to use that. That is, man, it's such a tool that has been utilized to my advantage sure. to connect with guys on the inside, to capture people's attention, to be able to draw them in. And I've been able to transfer that to out here because in having a conversation and meeting people and then I drop that. Oh yeah, by the way, I just got out of prison. I was serving 213 years. It just, it actually has helped me yep. to positively inspire and coach people. If she was down with the 213 year sentence, yep, yep. what's my excuse? Yep. Did you correct yourself and not say cop? You said officer because cop is on the list because I know cop. Mm, no. Oh. No, that's not, where I was, that's not where I was going at all. Oh. Let's go to something else. Okay. Teen. Teen as in like smells like teen spirit? No, no. Team. Team. Oh, yeah. That's your annual review or every six months review that's a review no, no, we're talking about people okay with your unit team which is your case manager okay yeah counselor Oof! wow you're on it okay so so that's team in the positive context well no maybe not the positive there are some good people on that team like you said okay. there are certain case managers counselors there's there's good people but team is generally not a great experience for most but I'm thinking of there's another. Remember, a lot of these terms have multiple uses, team. right? Okay. Like, go get the team. Oh, okay. So either your clique, your gang. Oh, wait. I'm thinking of a few different things. Sure. Are we talking about inmates or staff? Because I have some for both. We're actually talking about staff right staff. now. Staff, okay. So if a guy's like bucking. If he's bucking, what do you yeah. mean he's bucking? They, he won't come out of a cell or something like that. Then they bring the team with like the hard hats and like the shields and all of that stuff to bring yeah. them in. Is that what team is? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called again? Team, the uh, SORT, Special Spot? Operations uh, Response Team. They also call them turtles. Turtles, because they're body armor. The body armor, the shield. Yeah. They go in with an electrified shield. Yeah. Bop, hit them. Oh. Yeah, terrible, terrible things. Yeah, whenever they go get the team, or sometimes they go get the team when they hear that something's getting ready to kick off. Oh, get the team on standby. Okay. Or a guy will say, yeah, check it out. I'm not doing it. Like you said, like, I'm not coming out. Listen, man, go get the team. I'm not cuffing up. Mm. Yeah. At that point, eh, it's, yeah. You don't want to be you in that know, experience. What always blew my mind, because I see that a lot of the prison shows, is that somebody, an inmate, has such little control that he'd rather, or she'd rather, you know it's gonna be very painful, yeah. but they'd rather try to get some control in one way or another and buck the system. Yeah. In my mind, it's like, all right, just give me your hands, cough up, please, I don't want you to get hurt. But I understand why they're doing it, and it's such a sad situation. It is me. sad. When, when things struggle. have devolved yeah. to that point, yeah. where you're willing, because you know, listen, when, when they come, when it gets you. to that point, yeah. They're gonna physically hurt you. Because you made them. Because you made them come. Yeah. You have inconvenienced them. And yeah. that's not how it's supposed to be, but. And they'll like kick you and right, like choke you. Oh, forget it. It's not yeah. Okay. Um, that's not a good experience, like. but you know, that's a reality. That's one of the things that happens. That's, you know, with the team, that's what they train for. And, you know, it'd be nice if, they, if you didn't need that all together. But sometimes you just need to, uh, hey, boss. Boss is the leader. Of the mafia. The boss. Oh, he's the boss. No, that's generally no. 
It's not the leader of the gang? The boss? Mm, no. Oh. oh, like he's the man. He's the boss. Mm, no. No? No. Uh, is not, it a good, not generally. Is it a good thing or a bad thing to be the boss? It's just another term for those people. Oh, like a cop. Yeah. The boss. Oh, like the boss is coming? Yeah. Here comes the boss. Or it's sometimes like, hey boss. I thought it was your middle initial. Hey boss, let me get... <laughs> hey boss, can I get some cleaning supplies? Hey boss, can I get a commissary slip? Do they take that negative? Like call them um, my name or they don't care? I would say most correctional officers to be politically correct. Because we're so PC this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would prefer to be called boss. Because of the power. I would say, yeah, there's there's a power to that. There's more positive connotations than a turnkey. Like that's something that's used in a derogatory sure. sense. Sure. Now, what if a male prisoner calls a female CO boss? That's not, that's okay? Or would she, can she like turn around and? No, no, I mean, I'm just thinking, have I ever heard a male inmate call a female correctional officer boss? Probably, I think I've heard that. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. It's an interesting dynamic, especially with female prison guards and male incarcerated persons because there are these lines have become so clearly drawn in this day and age. Yeah. Where it's like, uh, man, don't look at, depending on where you're at, you look at, they talk about a reckless eyeball. You know what that is? Yeah, the man at Walmart today had a reckless eyeball with that lady. Uh, very good. I effing. Yes, yes, that's exactly what that is. Or like, yo, you reckless eyeballing her? And it's like, oh God, no, no. <laughs> because they're about to, they're about to hurt you over that. Sure. You know what I mean? Like they take that very, very serious. Think about the psychological effect that this has. Normally, human nature, a man is going to look at a woman but you become conditioned not to look at women at all That's or when horrible. you see them to constantly look away. What are the long-term psychological consequences? Right, right. and I'm saying that's horrible. Not that you should be, I like your terminology better. What is it? I Like ogling or Reckless, reckless or, eyeballing. Yeah, reckless eyeball. Because then suddenly it becomes so, you're thinking about it so much that it becomes bad. And then what happens when things are restricted so much as you go the opposite direction usually. Yeah. And that's scary for when they get out. Yeah. Hmm. I was just, I was laughing earlier because I feel like the more these videos go on, the more we try to be PC. <laughs> We're trying to clean it, clean it up. It makes no sense. Trying to. Okay, next. I would say that's probably the last one because some of the other ones that I could get into are far less PC. Which we could do, but we'll do it on the next video because this one's getting long. Yes. So we'll do that on another video. We'll, we'll get into the non-PC things where... That's what everybody lives mm, for. Really? Yeah. Hmm, the dirty stuff. The huh? dirty stuff. The I have dirt. a whole video on how prison lingo can be misconstrued out here for sexual innuendos. That was a really fun video to make. Really? But I, yeah, I do. It was fun. I will link the videos we talked about in this one up in the cards now. And if you're not already subscribed, do it for that pretty face. <laughs> pretty. That's the second time you called me pretty. Today. Do you not like pretty? I, I'm. Uh, no. Do it for that handsome face. There we go. I like that a By little bit better. By licking that circle or the red box below a little better. I like that a lot better. Thank we you. love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.